everybody. Welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for September the 11th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So, we are getting down to the final few weeks of the season, and every game, every series is becoming more and more important for playoff positioning, so let's get started with some of the games. There's a full slate of action. We will take a look at six of them for you. The first one we want to look at is the Washington Nationals and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies still look to secure a playoff spot. They come to play burning hot. You can see that they have won their last two after coming off of a very bad three-game losing streak against uh, the Giants. The Nationals are averaged down. They hadn't won their previous three, but then now they're on a two-game losing streak. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Washington was at 29, and they have dropped to uh, 23. The Phillies were all the way down at the bottom because of their recent losing skid, and they have climbed back up to plus 7. If you take a look at the over-under, you see Washington has been involved in games over the line in 4 out of the last 6, while Philadelphia has been involved in games over the line in 5 out of the last 6. And the score prediction has it in a lower-scoring game, 6-1 to one in favor of the Phillies, but only 30% level of confidence at this point. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Washington has been very consistent at plus 34, while the Phillies are at plus 13. In the end, I like the Phillies at home. Washington is just a very poor team. They're at the bottom of the division for a reason. The Phillies will come away with a win in this one, in a game going under the line. St. Louis and Pittsburgh. In this NL Central battle, the Cardinals look to remain in the playoff hunt. You see they're coming into play burning hot versus dead for Pittsburgh. St. Louis has won five out of their last six games, while the Pirates have lost five out of their last six games. If you take a look right here, there they've lost five out of their last six games. The pitching matchup is Jose Quintana for the Cardinals versus Mitch Keller for the Pirates. If you look at the pitching matchup right here, Quintana is 3-5 and five with a 3.50 ERA and a very good bet at plus $364. Keller, on the other hand, is 5-10 and 10 with a 4.22 ERA, has been a poor bet at minus $484, and his home ERA for the season is at 4.36. If you look at the over-under, you see that the Cardinals um, have been involved in games over the line in half of their last six games, while the Pirates have been involved in games under the line in three out of their last five. The score predictor likes the Cardinals by a wide margin, 9-2, to two, with confidence in prediction very high at 85%. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, the Cardinals were at plus 16. They have increased to plus 24 over the last uh, day, while the Pirates have remained steady over the last day at plus 12. How well are the teams performing with regard to their favorite underdog status? Well, if we look here at the Volatility oscillator. Um, there we go. Both teams have been very consistent. Cardinals at plus 40, the Pirates at plus 35. In the end, I think the Cardinals are the better team. They will win this game on the road. So take the Cardinals to win in a game going over the line. Tampa Bay and the New York Yankees. This is the game of the day. The Rays and the Yankees, first two teams in the AL East. Both coming into play burning hot. The Rays have won five out of their last six, coming off of a sweep over Boston. The Yankees have won their last four and four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see the Rays uh, three out of their last six games over the line. Well, the Yankees have been under in three out of the last four with a push and one over. The power ranking indicator shows, right here, there we go. Power ranking indicator shows the Yankees at plus 27. The Rays at plus 25. The score predictor likes the Yankees in a very tight game, 8-7 to seven with about 73% level of confidence. And this is a very evenly matched game. Even on the volatility offstart, how stable have the two teams been? Again, this is neck and neck. Uh, plus 27 Yankees, plus 26 Rays, meaning both teams have been very consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like this one to go in favor of the Yankees at home, but I will pass on the over-under on this one. The Mets and the Marlins, Cincinnati and Milwaukee. See a full slate of games. Next game we want to look at is Cleveland Guardians and the Minnesota Twins. 
Cleveland is out in front in the AL Central. Uh, but right now, they haven't been playing their best ball. They're ice cold down. They're coming off of a loss, and you can see that they lost four out of their last six games. While Minnesota is dead status, they have lost five out of their last six games. The pitching matchup is Shane Bieber for the Guardians, and Minnesota has not yet named their starter. But as far as Bieber is concerned, he is 9-8 and eight with a 2.96 ERA and a very good bet at plus $316. And his away ERA is very impressive at 2.74, and he is 15 in the top 100 in that category. On the power ranking indicator, you see Cleveland was down at zero, but they have climbed up to plus 21. While Minnesota was up at plus 28 just a couple weeks ago, actually not even a couple weeks, just a little over a week ago, and they are now down to plus 5. The score predictor likes Minnesota by a 7-6 score with about 69% level of confidence. That's home field advantage for you right there. That's what that's based off of, I believe. Uh, volatility oscillator shows the stability factor. Uh, Minnesota very stable at plus 29. Uh, Cleveland uh, not as stable, but still pretty stable at plus 19. I do like Cleveland in this one. I think they, even though Minnesota's at home, score predictor likes Minnesota. I like Cleveland. Cleveland's a better team. Cleveland will win this one. But I like this one to be a lower scoring game with Bieber on the mound. So let's go with Cleveland and under the line. Detroit and Kansas City. Angels and Houston. Next game we want to look at is down here. It's a lot of games, but I want to get the most important matchups for the day. Right here, Atlanta Braves and the Seattle Mariners. The Braves are battling for the top spot in the NL East and coming to play burning hot and have won their last six games. While Seattle is coming to play average status, they are coming off of a series in which they lost two out of three to the White Sox, and they are formed two over their last six. The score prediction has here Atlanta 11, Seattle 2, so they're looking for a blowout here with confidence and prediction of almost 82%. The power ranking indicator shows Atlanta here is at plus 29, while Seattle climbed from plus 17 to plus 26 just over the, the last day. If we look at the volatility oscillator, we can see here that Atlanta is among the most stable team in the league. So they're very consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status, plus 49. And Seattle is moderately stable as well, though, at plus 24. In the end, Atlanta has too much. This is a game for Atlanta. Go with the Braves in a game over the line. The last game we want to look at is the Dodgers and the Padres. Here's another really good matchup, an NL West battle. The Dodgers look to remain on top in the division. You can see both teams come into play burning hot. The Dodgers have, if we can get this to come up properly, there we go. The Dodgers have won four out of their last six games, while the Padres have won their last two, and they're three and three over their last six. The pitching matchup has Andrew Haney for the Dodgers versus Joe Musgrove for the Padres. Very good pitching matchup. Haney is two and two with a 2.94 ERA and is a good bet at $156. While Musgrove is 9-6 with 3.16 ERA and also a very good bet at plus $338. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Dodgers are at plus, 20, uh, plus 18, Padres at plus 19. Very uh, consistent, about the same in that category. If you look at the over-under, though, Dodgers over the line in, in the last six. Padres over in five out of the last six. Expect a higher scoring game in this one if you're going to base your uh, – Base everything just off of that. But there's a lot of other factors involved here. The pitching matchups and the trends um, can kind of be thrown out the window a little bit because of the, the strong pitching matchup. The volatility oscillator shows the Dodgers are probably the most stable team. I haven't really checked on the numbers, but I believe that, that this plus 54 would be the tops in the league. So they are very, very stable, very consistent. The Dodgers have too much. They will win this game. And I would probably go under the line in this one because of the strong pitching matchup. So there you have it. That's the last game we want to look at for this week. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.